This video will prove a very interesting fact. 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial all the way up to plus n factorial is a perfect square only when n is equal to 1 or 3. If you like watching mathematical proofs like this, you should seriously consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get right into it. If n is 1, then it's just 1 factorial, which is 1, which is some number squared. So 1 works. n equals 2. Well, that's 1 factorial plus 2 factorial, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. That does not work. Now, when n is 3, you have 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial, which is 1 plus 2 plus 6. Ooh, that's 9. That's 3 squared. Now, we just need to do one more and then argue why if it's bigger than 4, it won't work. 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial. Well, we just realized what I underlined is 9, and 4 factorial is 24. And that ends in a 3. Ends in a 3, which no square ends in a 3. You know, if you square 0, it end, a number that ends in 0, it ends in a 0. If you square a number that ends in a 1, it ends in a 1, and so on. Ends in a 9. 4 squared ends in a 6. 5 squared ends in a, a 5. 6 squared ends in a 6. 7 squared ends in a 9, because 7 squared is 49. 8 squared is 64, meaning it ends in a 4. Any number that ends in a 9, when you square it, 9 squared is 81. It will end in a 1. Okay, notice... No number, when you square it, can end in a 3. Okay. Now, again, 4 ends in a 3, when n is equal to 4. Well, when n is equal to, say, 5, you're going to have 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial. And then you're going to have... 5 times 2, 10, times 1, times 3, times 4. This ends in a 0. This times this ends in a 0. This ends in a 3. If you take any number, I don't care what number you take, if it ends in a 3 and you add a number that ends in a 9, sorry, it ends in a 0, the sum will end in a 3. So this one, this one will not work. And if you look at n is equal to 6, again, you're going to have 33 plus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial. This ends, okay, so you have 33 plus, again, 10 times whatever, 1, 3, 4. But now in 6 factorial, you also have 5 times 2. You have 1, I already put the 2, times 3, times 4, I put the 5 here, and then you have a 6. This is going to end in 0. In fact, you know, 7 factorial is going to end in a 0. It's going to end in a 0 because it has 5 and 2 as two of the factors. That multiplies out to 10. 8 factorial is going to end in a 0. 9 factorial is going to end in a 0. This here ends in a 3. And then everything else ends in a 0. No square ends in a 3. This means that for 
n greater than or equal to 4. 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus our n factorial will end in a 3. No number. that ends in a 3 can be a perfect square. So let's see. This was for n 4 or bigger. That is why I checked 1, 2, and 3. And only 1 and 3 worked. 1 only when n is 1 and n is 3 worked. 2 did not work. In conclusion, only when n equals 1 or n equals 3, well, 1 factorial plus 2 factorial up to n factorial be a perfect square. If you like watching math like this, consider subscribing to my channel as this is what we do here all the time. Please leave a comment if you have a video that you like for me to make up. If I know how to do the proof, I will make up that video probably within a day or two. Please leave a or comment, click the like button. See you nice folks in the next video. Never forget, it's real important. Keep learning. Watch and learn.